hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i will cover heat transfer quick review part one first is four years law of heat conduction conduction of heat assumptions are conduction of heat at steady state and unidirectional flow or one dimensional no internal heat generation then temperature's gradient is constant and temperature profile is linear Mathematically, Q dot equal to minus K dt by dx. This one they asked in ISRO diploma level examination. Q dot equal to minus K dt by dx. Then thermal conductivity table you have to remember. For different material, what is the value of thermal conductivity? It will helpful in solving problems. So its unit is watt per meter Kelvin. Diamond for diamond, its value is 2300 for silver, 405. For copper 385, aluminum 200, steel approximately 25, mercury 8, glass 1.2, air 0 0.024 and asbestos it's 0.2. All units are in watt per meter Kelvin. Then one graph you remember, thermal conductivity versus temperature. K versus temperature. For solid, it will decrease with increase in temperature. And for liquids, most of the liquids, it will rise with temperature. And for gas also, it will rise in thermal conductivity. K will rise with temperature. But in case of water, a little bit different water first it will decrease and after some time first it will increase then after some time it will decrease so this is for gas liquid this is for solid this is for water So, thermal conductivity of water, it may increase or decrease depends on temperature. This is very, very important. Then thermal resistance, RTS. From Fourier flow, heat flow rate, Q dot equal to K dt by dx. From here, dt by, by K. This term is our RTH. Thermal resistance. So, dx by ka dx is our thickness k is thermal conductivity a is area of cross section and reciprocal of thermal resistance is called as thermal conductance so 1 by rth equal to thermal conductance then thermal diffusivity denoted by alpha alpha is equal to heat conducted by heat capacity or heat stored K 
k by rho cp its unit is meter square per second this one also very very important in solving problems thank you friends thank you for watching my video thank you